black women, not to be honest about dating. If you want to find a man that has a degree with a respectable career, make it six figures, owns a home, drives a nice car, not cheap, has family values, no baby moms, and no felony, you'll have to date outside your race. A lot of black women don't like interracial marriage. It's not because you don't think it's right. You want it to be you, and you know it will never be you. You got the floor. Do I have the floor? Do I? Yes, do you I? do. You want to be Gabby Cinnabon. You want to be Serena Williams. You want that white knight in shining armor. And the sad part about it is, is that the same smoke that you give black men is the same smoke that you don't give black women. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell. That will let you know when I upload content. You know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. The woman in this tweet is not wrong. However, there are two pertinent issues that she's failed to address. The first being that this isn't the typical standard criteria, qualities, or credentials that black women seek out in mates. He ain't lying. We've seen the type of men that they lust after, copulate with, and reproduce with. Yep. We also see the type of men that they tend to reject, which just so happens to be many of the black men who would actually fit the criteria on this list. They'll walk around singing every good girl needs a little thug, every fuck boy needs a little love. Not every queen needs a man with a degree, no felonies, or babies. And considering the fact that they're the least desired, least likely to get married, least likely to ever be married, least likely to get remarried, and have the highest rates of marriage instability, as well as the lowest interracial marriage rates, it's going to be extremely difficult. Because the overwhelming majority of men in other cultures do not want to deal with a black woman's attitude. Because the overwhelming majority of men in other cultures do not want to deal with a black woman's attitude. Kudos to this brother because he breaks down everything that I've broken down multiple times on this channel. Not only are black women the least desired to get married, the least likely to get remarried, and they have the highest divorce rate among all races of women, not to mention when you're in college, ladies, you're more likely to be pregnant or have a baby more than any other race there is. So while you look at Serena Williams and you look at Gabby Sidibe as goals, and then you look at people like Eddie Murphy and Jonathan Majors as race traders, what you're really saying is there is a double standard. It's okay for a woman to do it, but it's not okay for a man to do it. Yep. Why the double standard, ladies? Why don't you have that same smoke for your own sisters? Why don't you tell Serena Williams the same thing that you're saying to Eddie Murphy? Why don't you tell Gabby Sidibe the same thing that you're saying to Jonathan Majors? Why is it that whenever a black man dates a white woman, he is a race traitor, he hates his race, and he doesn't like women, but it's okay when a black woman dates a white king? See, deep down in your heart, black woman, you, wanna, you want a white guy. You love white guys. You would rather date our son of your race than to date your own man. And here's why. You only date the certain demographic of men that are hood guys, thugs, and drug dealers. He ain't lying. You don't want to date a guy like Eddie Murphy. You don't want to date Jonathan Majors. You don't want to date a decent guy with a stable job and a career. So a white guy sees that and they're like, I don't want any power today. So white women, white 
white men, Asian men, Arabic men, and then you want to call black men race traitors. Y'all need to stop it. Because at the end of the day, the only race trainer that has ever existed in the history of mankind is black women. Are you more likely to see black men dating white women or white men dating black women? You see black men dating white women all the time. You don't see white men dating black women all the time. So, Black men dating white women. And why is that? Um, to be honest, I'm not really quite sure. That's just what I I feel like they might be intimidated by us black women. So they might do another race. I don't see myself dating a white guy, nothing against his race. But it's more about like my bloodline and keeping it pure and black. And maybe if I want to have children, I want my children to be black. Nothing against like skin color, race, nothing. Y'all sold black men out for Sanction 8 WIC government assistance. Y'all fought the war on feminism. Y'all fought the war with the white woman for feminism. Y'all became feminist when y'all didn't need to fight that fight. Then on top of that, you get on Sanction 8 to push the man out of the house. You decide, I don't need a man, so I'm going to have multiple kids with multiple different men so that I can get more money from the government when tax season comes around. And then on top of all that, you want to talk smack about black men. Ladies, worry about yourself. Fix yourself. Stop dating drug dealers and scammers and start dating men with careers. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. Until the next one.